Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with the LSP4 tutorial that you guys have been waiting on. That's right guys. LSP4, Scripthook V, and Rage Plugin Hook, all three are now updated and we can do what we need to do guys. So let's get right into this and I will see you all on the other side. Alright guys, so here's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you how to install LSPFR, Script Hook V, and Rage Plug and Hook. Even though, let me explain this guys. Even though, um, it's always the same installation process. It's always the same exact steps. Nothing changes about the installation. The only thing that changes about, about this, guys, is the numbers. Is the version, that's it. Now, uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do for Steam you for Steam and Epic users, Epic users, you can follow along with your main directory and follow along with the instructions I am telling you. I will show you how to do everything, okay? First and foremost, Steam users, okay? This is what you need to make sure of. Make sure that your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is updated to the most recent version, which is version 2189.0. Okay, if you want to scroll down in your directory. And highlight the GTA5.exe right there. It will tell you right there, 2189.0, okay? Now, if you still have the 2060.1, this is what you need to do. You need to verify your game files, okay? With that being said, you need to close out of your directory, okay? Do not verify your game files through Rage. I know you can do it, but they don't recommend that you do it like that. They recommend... That you do it through Steam. So here's what you're going to do. Go over to your Steam. Alright. Then you're going to go to library. And go down to Grand Theft Auto 5. Right there. Alright. Highlight it. Right click on it. Go to properties. Go to local files. And then click verify integrity of game files. Let it go all the way through. Okay guys. At the end. It might tell you that a couple of the files were not validated. And that they will be put back in the file or something like that that's what mine said but it updated it i'm on the latest version now guys okay so with that being said once you verify your game files guys uh you got everything downloaded close out of your steam hang tight i'm gonna get with epic uh users okay so guys the next thing i want you to do steam users one more thing before i go back to, before i go to epic users, one more thing what you want to do uh um steam users is go to the file explorer all right and go to the hard drive in which you installed your grand theft auto 5 okay go to steam library steam apps common and go to your directory right here now here's what i suggest you do go back to where it says grand theft auto 5 and right click you want to uh don't do that you want to right click and you want to go down and click copy okay and then you want to go down here left click right click and click paste what that is going to do is it's going to to paste an exact replica of this right here of the version 2060.1 so before you verify your game files go in and make your backup copy because if for some reason that these do not work we have a copy to fall back on okay all right now with that being said guys let me uh we should have this directory right here this should be our directory should be on 2189 right there guys all right and you should have a backup copy i'm going to show you guys my backup copy is right here it is on version 2060.1 right there guys see that's my backup copy in case something goes wrong with this okay always be prepared guys always be prepared it always pays off so while you're while you're doing your backup copy i'm going to go back over to epic users epic users this is what you want to do open up your file explorer Go to this PC, select the hard drive in which you installed GTA 5 on. Go to Rockstar Games or Epic Games, whichever one it says. You also want to make a backup copy of your GTA 5 main directory. So go to the, G the one that says GTA 5. Click on it. Make sure you're on version 2060.0, okay? 2060.0, okay? Well, if you are, in fact, go back. Highlight the one that says GTA 5. Right-click copy go down here left click right click and paste again guys here is my backup copy 
of my GTA 5 for Epics. It is on version 2060.0. Okay, guys. Now, Epic users, you are also going to have to verify your game files. And here is how you do it, okay? Uh, my copy is actually copying over. And it's at 96% complete, so it doesn't like much. So, Epic users, open up your Epic Game Launcher. Steam users, users, I will be right back with you to show you the installation. Give me a second. I'm trying to cover everybody here to get everybody up and going. Uh, Rockstar version users, you can now go ahead and install LSPFR script hook being rage plugin hook if you know how to do it. You can go ahead and do it. Okay, guys, once you're in the Epic Store, guys, go to your library. And you want to go right here where it says Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? And you want to click where the three little dots are, all right? And now, see, now my copy is done. All right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to refresh it. And the only one it should verify is the one that says GTA 5 only, okay? So what you want to do is go here where it says Grand Theft Auto 5, guys, where your game is. Click those three dots and click verify, all right? It is now going to verify your files and update your game. We are going to minimize that all right while well, that is verifying all right well that's verifying let's go ahead and download our modifications okay guys let's open it up links in the description below the first one we're going to come to is lspd first response 0.4.8 this is the new bill same version just a different bill guys 7659 it will tell you right here some antivirus software programs mark LSPFR as a virus, even though it is not. Okay? So, there's two things you can do. You can turn off your antivirus, which is way easier, or make an exception to your antivirus for GTA 5, all right? I just turn it off. I never have my antivirus off, and I run a scan on it about once or twice a week, okay? Never had no problems out of it. What you want to do, guys, is scroll down and click download this file right here. Scroll down here. You can read all the license agreement if you want to, but all you have to do is click agree and download right there, ladies and gentlemen. Click that. It is going to start downloading right about now. Is that it? There we go, right there. All right, guys, on the script hook V, while well, that's downloading on the script hook V. Now, what you want to do here, guys, you want to click GTA 5 right there. Click GTA 5 and then click script hook V. Then scroll down and you want the one right here that says download, not the one for developers, but this one. Our version is 2189.0. Go ahead and click download right there, guys. All right. Now, while that's downloading, we're going to go on to Rage Plugin Hook, okay? Go to Rage Plugin Hook. Click download now right here. Click Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy. I still don't understand why they put Legacy. Now, there is... Okay, so that version is not available no more. My mistake. I thought that version was still available. So... Those of you that were asked about 1.81, it is no longer available. 1.83 is no longer available. We are now on version 1.84, guys. Go ahead and click download right here. It is going to start downloading those. Now, once you have these all downloaded, guys, I don't care what you do with them. Just make sure you put them somewhere where you know how to get to them, okay? That's all that matters, all right? Let's close out of that. Um, oh, my bad, my bad. Epic's Game Launcher is still verifying. Now, if you want to see the progress on your, your on your verification, guys, you can look at it right there. Or you can go right here to Downloads, and it will show you uh, the verification here. It will also show you what speed it's running at right here. So you're running about 310 megabytes per second right there, guys. Uh, roughly that for download speed, I believe. Download speed, 310 mega. I want to make sure I get it backwards. All right, so let's close that back up. We're letting that verify. Uh... So Epic users, just follow along with your main directory after your game verifies. Just follow along. It's the same thing. Everything goes in your main directory, okay? So for example, uh, Steam users, pull up your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, all right? Go to File Explorer. Go to this PC. Go to the hard drive in which you installed your GTA 5 on. All right, you're going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps Common, and then Grand Theft Auto 5 right here, okay, guys? Epic users, same exact thing, okay? Same exact thing. You are going to go to this PC. I'm sorry, the file explorer, this PC. The hard drive which you installed GT5 on. And then click on Rockstar Games or Epic Games, whichever one it is. Right there, you want the one that says GT5. But right now, guys, it is updating. So your, your GT5.exe is not going to be available. It is, but it is updating right now. So you do not want to mess with that. You do not want to mess with that right now, okay? Don't put anything in there while it's updating, okay? So we're going to close out of that. 
after it updates epics you can then go back to your main directory come back to this part of the video where i'm fixing to start and watch me install uh, how to install this type it's the same thing it all goes in your main directory steam users pull up your grand little five main directory let's pull it up right here okay everything's in here and let's open up our lspfr file okay now if you guys would give me just one second i'm gonna let's go ahead and open this up and i am gonna look at something very quick I'm going to look at the keys. I'm going to, sorry, not the keys. The LSPFR INI is what I want to look at. All right, so it's the same exact one as last time. All right, so here's what you want to do, guys. Uh, open up your LSPFR 048. Click on LSPFR 048 7659. All right, and you want to just go in here. And if you don't have room to highlight it all with your mouse, just go in there and hit Control A. That's going to highlight every file in there. If you don't believe me, go like this, enlarge it. It will show you that is every file highlighted, okay? Now, what you do want to do is hold down your control key and deselect those two little dots. Deselect license, and we have to find the README right here, guys. The RPH README. Deselect the README. Never install the Readmes, guys, by any means, because that's where a lot of you mess up. You want to just grab all the files and throw them in, install the Readmes, and that's why your game starts crashing, okay? So now that we have all of our necessary files highlighted, I think that is it. Go ahead and grab these guys. Pull them into your main directory just like this. Drag them and drop just like that. It's going to start installing. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to install, how to move, how to adjust your keys and all that um, so that your game is not clashing with none of your mods. If you have followed my past tutorials, your, your mods should not clash at all. All right, so it might take a minute to um, for everything to start flowing in there. It might take just a minute. All right, right here, guys, replace the files destination. Yes, replace them. Go ahead and replace them. And it looks like Epix is done verifying. It looks like it is done verifying. It is. It is done verifying. Okay, so we can close out of that. So Epic users, pull up your GT5 main directory. And you should be in 20. Yep, there you go, guys. You're in 2189 right there, guys. But you have that backup copy. Remember, you have the backup copy, okay? So go back to uh, Steam Users. Give me one second. You can go ahead and refresh your directory, Steam Users, and close out of that. And then Epic Users. Sorry, I'm bouncing back and forth here, guys. I'm trying to get everybody. Epic Users. Go back to your file explorer, this PC. Select the hard drive, reinstall GT5. Rockstar or Epic Games, whichever one it is. And then GTA 5 directory is right here. It should say 2189. There it is, guys. Okay, now if you go back and go to your copy, it should not be updated. It should not be updated. It should still say 2060, okay? Let me try to get it to highlight. There it is, guys. There's your backup copy. 2060 right there, okay? Now, Epic users, you can follow right along. Just like I just showed in that one, guys. Open up your main directory. Drag and drop everything minus the license, the two dots, and the RPA treat me. Drop it all into your directory, okay? Minus those three files I mentioned, okay? Now, let's open up our script hook V. Going to double click on bin. We're going to highlight everything here, excluding the native trainer. Deselect that. Grab the D input A.DLL and the script hook V.DLL. Grab them both. Pull them into your main directory. Drag and drop them just like that. Yes, replace the two files with the same names. Go ahead and replace them. There you go. And refresh it. Close out of that. We're going to go ahead and get rid of both of those. Now, last but not least, guys, this is going to be your Rage plug-in hook. So go down here. If you have a Rage plug-in hook uh, on your taskbar, go down here and right-click and unpin it. Even though I don't know if we have to do this or not, I always do it just to make sure, okay? Uh, so with that being said, open up your Rage plugin hook, WinRAR. Go in here and highlight every single thing. Do not highlight the license, guys. Now, hold down your control key once again. Deselect license. Deselect SDK. And deselect the README text, guys, okay? Deselect those uh, one, two, three files right there. And make sure the two dots are not selected either. Grab everything you see here, guys. It's highlighted. Grab it. Pull it into your main directory just like this. Drag it and drop it. All right. Yes, we want to replace the 14 files with the same names. Go ahead and replace it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's close out of that. 
Let's go over here and delete this. All right. Now, we're going to scroll down in our main directory. Uh, Steam users and Epic users, same thing. Go right here to where your Rage plugin hook is. The one we just dropped in should be 1.84, guys. Right click. Go down to Send 2. And click Desktop Shortcut, okay? Close out of your main directory. Grab this Rage plugin hook right here, guys. We should not have closed that. Grab the Rage plugin hook, guys, and take it and pin it to your taskbar just like that. And you're safe to take this one and throw it into your recycle bin. Okay, guys? Um, with that being said, we are going to open up our main directory again, all right? Because we have to go back and we have to adjust our key. So, Steam users, go back to your main directory. Also, Epic users, go back to your main directory, okay? So, Epic users, same pathway. You're going to follow the same pathway. Different directory, same pathway. Everybody, go to LSPDFR. And go to keys. All right. We're going to bring the keys over here. We're going to enlarge it. Okay. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and highlight this word none right here. And click control C on the keyboard. Control C. C is in cat. Because we're going to use it a lot. Go to the one below it. Highlight it. And hit control V. It's going to paste the word none right there. That's good. That's what you want. All right. Go down here to crime report. You can leave that at B if you want to. But I like change that to none. All right. Uh, crime report on thumbstick on the controller. Leave that right there. Leave it right there, guys. Uh, I'm just trying to scan through this real quick and get it done. Let's see. Perform a rescue, guys. Uh, you want that to be... You want to change that from E to capital I. All right. There's a reason we're doing it. Trust, just trust me on this, guys, okay? Let me go on down here. Stop pads, guys. We're right here on stop pads. Equals E. You want to change that to a capital I okay some people do it differently this is how I do it if you've been following all my tutorials then then you'll want to do it like this because none of your mods are going to clash okay right here guys where it says chase the board join equals G go ahead and highlight that G and hit control V and put it to none also the same thing for the controller right here chase the board join change that to control V okay down here guys uh, accept call out. We're going to leave that alone. And then we're going to scroll up here a little bit. Let me mark my spot so I know where I am. Going to scroll up here. Right here, guys. Do not change this key right here. Traffic stop start. Do not change that key. Leave it alone. It's left shift. Now, down here, it says traffic stop start controller key equals A. Change that to none. All right. Traffic stop interact. Right here, guys. That's where I'm at. Change that to a capital I. Okay. Now, you want to go down to where it says Traffic Stop Interact Controller, highlight D-pad right, and change that to none. So, Control V, guys. Control V. Let's see. I think that might be pretty much it. There might be one more right here, guys and girls. Where it says Toggle Police Computer Controller equals X. Control V on that X, guys. Control V. Right here, guys. Backup menu. Uh... Back up in your controller equals right thumb. Highlight that right thumb and hit control V, okay? And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for that part, I believe. I believe that is it. I think we got it all. I'm pretty sure we got it all. Now we can kind of sling that on over here. And go ahead and click file, guys, and click save. And then close out. We are now going to go down to right here where it says LSPDFR, right here. The first thing that you want to do is go up here where it says main dot preload all models and change that true to a false because that is going to help with your texture issues okay now we're going to go down here since we do now you only change this if you have stopped the pet installed if you don't have stopped the pet installed leave this one alone okay ambient dot disable player flashlight override if you have stopped the pet installed change this right here to true okay if you do not have stop the pet installed leave it at false all right just leave it at false uh right here guys where it says ambient dot disable escape suspect encounter change that to true as well all right uh and i believe that is it for this part i don't think there's anything else i need to mess with i'm trying to look see if they put anything new in here I think it's all pretty much the same as it was before. Uh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and let's click File. 
Let's click save and close out of that. And that is it. That is it. So we can go back. We are going to refresh our directory and close out. Now, what, I'll make sure I'm still recording, guys. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I always got to check that. So, guys, what you want to do next is this is where it is very critical. You want to back up your game version. Now, um, Epic users... I'm pretty sure you have to go to the Epic Game Launcher. You have to open it up and run GT5 and then click Rage. Or you might be able to do it the other way. I'm pretty sure you can do it through Rage first. So, everybody go ahead and click Rage. Alright? This is going to be like your first initial setup on Rage. It's going to ask you to back up your game. And you guys better do it, I'm telling you. Alright, right here. Rage Plugin Hook can back up your current game version. So, you can revert to it in case... A new version breaks modding functionality. What that means, guys, is for example, perfect example, the previous update that we just went through, GT5, and everybody's saying, oh, I didn't back up my game. My game's not working because I didn't back it up. This is where you can save yourself some time right here by saying that, okay? You can play through the updates, all right? When GT5 updates, you can still play while you're waiting on LSPFR, script hook, V, and Rage plugin hook to update, if you click yes right here, I expect you to click yes, guys. Go ahead and click yes. You want to back up your game version. Guys, please back up your game. It's not hard. It's the click of a button. All right? It's like I always say, if you don't back up your game version, don't cry, don't come crying on my channel. I'm going to put that on some merch, guys. I really am. I am going to put that on some merch. Don't come crying on my channel. I love you guys, man. I love y'all. I know you guys asked me to do this uh, tutorial, man, and I always, I always want to, uh, you know, I always want to, to try to do everything you guys asked me to do. I tried to, man. It's hard to, to fit everything in sometimes with with, with uh, both of my channels, my, both of my discords, my family. It's it's a hard thing to do sometimes, guys. But I do my best to get all up here, guys. Looks like we're gonna be up and running here. Let's see how it goes. This is the brand new version of LSPFR, Script Hook B, and Rage Plugin Hook. So let's see how this goes. Guys and girls, I hope y'all are having a fantastic week. I hope everyone is happy and where you want to be in life and that you are in consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. Now, why? since this is firing up, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I know I have music going. I'm going to go ahead and cut my music down here real quick. Uh, let me go ahead and just mute it. All right, I'm going to mute my music, and we'll go ahead and minimize that. Rage plugin hook is fired up. So, I wanted to go ahead and mute my music, guys. I, I know it was very pleasing to the ear. Um, I love Christmas time, guys. I just, I love Christmas. I have I have two kids that have birthdays at Christmas time. I have one child named Chloe. Her birthday is on December 16th. And my other child, Arizona Rain, her birthday is on December 18th. And then, plus, we have Christmas to celebrate. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's really busy and uh, expensive for us at Christmas. It really, really is. It truly, truly is. It is very expensive. Okay, guys, so I did want to tell you guys real quick, uh, because I almost, I did forget to tell you, but I jumped back in here and tell you guys real quick. Don't forget, guys, if your LSPFR does not load up, okay, I have my link down there in the description, as I told you. Go join my Discord, get my support team. But also, don't forget that if you did it, we made a backup copy in this tutorial that you can fall back on to the one that you know worked for a fact, okay? So if the, the new one doesn't work, you can delete the new copy, okay? And fall back to your other copy that you made of the version. For Steam users, you'd be falling back on the version 2060.1. For Epic users, it'd be version 2060.0, okay? So make sure, I hope you guys made that backup copy. If you didn't, then... Um, I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, I warned you guys. I told you to make up your backup copy. And, you know, anytime you go to a new version, there's two things that you want to do, okay? And you get a brand new version. The first thing you want to do is make a backup copy of the directory that you know for a fact that works, guys. Always make that backup so you can have something to fall back on. Number two, if for some reason... Uh, you know, they need to work on LSPFR or whatever it is that's causing the game not to work. If your game's not working, 
then what you want to do, guys, is you always want to do a fresh install. Now, I don't mean just LSPFR. What I'm talking about, guys, is going into your directories, your GT5 directories, okay? You want to go into your directories here just like this, okay? All right, Steam users, go to your, your directories. And you would want to highlight all your directories and delete every single one, okay? This is a fresh install. You delete all your directories. And then you would go to Steam, uninstall GT5, and reinstall it. That is a fresh install. Ask anybody on LSPFR.com. They will highly recommend that you do a fresh install anytime a brand new update comes out, okay? Just a little food for thought there for you guys and a little advice. Um, but that's two things you can do with the update, okay? Guys, I love you all so much. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all in the next video.